Chapter 30, Mishnah 1. This chapter deals with the Tuma laws of glass utensils, beginning with some general guidelines that first appeared earlier in this tractate, Chapter 2, Mishnah 1. They are repeated, repeated here as an introduction to a more detailed discussion of glassware Tuma. Glass utensils are governed by the following general Tuma rules. The first rule, those glass utensils that are flat are tahor, i.e. they cannot become tame, but those glass utensils that are containers can become tame. Additional rules. Glass containers that were tame and then broke became tahor, become tahor. If one then made the pieces back into utensils, they can become tame from now on, but their old tuma does not return. The Mishnah now discusses various glass utensils that had a small hollow base resembling an upside down bowl, similar to the bases of our silver and glass goblets. A low table and a platter made of glass remain tahor since they are flat and are not containers, even though their hollow bases can hold things. If, however, the upper surfaces of these utensils have a rim, they are containers and can thus become tame. The Mishnah discusses the law of the basis of utensils once the upper part broke. The base of a bowl or the base of a platter made of glass whose upper part broke and can no longer be used, leaving the base as its only usable part, which someone now designated for use as a bowl by turning it over, remains tahor. The base cannot be considered a clea because the sharp edges of the broken upper surfaces make it unusable. However, if one smoothed their jagged edges or filled them down with a metal worker's file or filed them down with a metal worker's file so that they can be used without cutting oneself, they can become Tommy.